Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks that I bet you have never heard of the 50% 60 degree rule. <laughs> kind of a joke. I don't really think there's a rule or if anybody's ever done anything with it, but I just kind of came up. I'm trying to get an indexing line to go to the center. I wanted to make this shape or this shape for a pattern that I'm working on for somebody. And I just kind of came up with this and it works. No matter what size circle or ellipse you hit, I didn't size it. This is 15.996, I'm gonna hit P. I am going to control D and make a duplicate and make the next one 50% of that. Now I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna put it in the top corner. Now I'm gonna control D and make a duplicate. And I am gonna move the rotation to the center of the page. Doesn't look like it is, but it is. And I'm gonna rotate that 60 degrees. That's where the 60 degree comes in. Then I'm gonna rotate it 120 degrees. Control D, control D, control D. With those numbers, and I'm almost hoping a mathematician will kind of chime in here with that 50% at 60 degrees, the lines are so close that it seals them up and you get that shape. So stay tuned for part two and I'm gonna make a pattern with this that uh, somebody kind of asked me about. Anyway, that's pretty, so it doesn't matter what size circle. You know, we could take this circle Put P, put it in the center of the page, control D and make a duplicate. Well, you know what? I'm going to have to start out at 100%. Well, you could do, I could have done 25%. But see, now I'm at 11,976. I'm going to hit P, control D to make a duplicate, make it 50% of that size. Put it to the top. It doesn't really matter where you put it, but I'm going to put it right there on the quadrant. Control D to make a duplicate, and that's what Control D does sometimes. Control D to make a duplicate, double click on the rotation and put it in the center of the page. It is not this time. A lot of times it will, I got the indexing line that time. A lot of times it will click to the center. There it is. Rotate it 60 degrees. Control D, 120 degrees. Control D, Control D, Control D. So completely different size but the lines are close enough that there's no leak and it's perfectly spaced between there. I hope that made a little bit of sense and maybe you chuckle a little bit. Maybe there will be a mathematician that'll chime in and tell me if there actually is. I just came up with this. Anyway, I hope that helped and stay tuned for part two because it's a pretty neat pattern. Thank you for watching.